In this example, we're asked to subtract, then state the domain. The first thing to recognize here is that we cannot find this difference in this form because we do not have a common denominator. So for the first step, we will factor the denominators to help us determine the least common denominator. So for the first fraction, we have the quantity x squared plus 11x plus 18. And now we'll factor the denominator. This will factor into two binomial factors. The terms in the first positions will be x because x times x equals x squared. The terms in the second positions will be the factors of negative eight that add to negative two. So because negative four times positive two is equal to negative eight and negative four plus two is equal to negative two, one binomial factor is x minus four and the other is x plus two. And then we have minus the quantity x plus three divided by the quantity x minus four. Now looking at the denominators, notice how both denominators contain a factor of x minus four, but this denominator does not contain a factor of x plus two. If it did, we would have a common denominator. And therefore the least common denominator is the quantity x minus four times the quantity x plus two. So to write the second fraction as an equivalent fraction with a denominator containing these two factors, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the quantity x plus two. Notice now we do have a common denominator. So when we subtract, the denominator will be the quantity x minus four times the quantity x plus two. And now we subtract the numerators. So we have the quantity x squared plus 11x plus 18 minus the quantity x plus three times the quantity x plus two. And now we need to simplify the numerator for the first step We'll determine the product of the two binomials here. There will be four products. One, two, three, four. So we still have the quantity x squared plus 11x plus 18 minus. We'll write this product in parentheses because we do need to subtract this product. So x times x equals x squared. Then we have x times two, that's two x. And then three times x, that's three x. Two x plus three x is five x. So we have plus five x and then three times two is six, so we have plus six. For the next step, we'll clear the parentheses and combine like terms. Let's continue on the next slide. If it's helpful to clear the parentheses, we can distribute a positive one here, and because of the subtraction, we can distribute negative one. Distributing positive one does not change any signs, so we have x squared plus 11x plus 18. Distributing negative one, we'll change the sign of each term inside the parentheses. So we have minus x squared minus five x minus six. And now we combine like terms. We have two x squared terms. We have two x terms. And we have two constants. X squared minus x squared is zero. 11 x minus five x is six x. And 18 minus six is equal to 12, so we have plus 12. The denominator is still the quantity x minus four times the quantity x plus two. Now that we have the difference, we need to see if this rational expression will simplify by factoring the numerator and denominator and see if there are any common factors. So looking at the numerator, the greatest common factor is six. If we factor six from six x plus 12, we have six times the quantity x plus two. The denominator is still the quantity x minus four times the quantity x plus two. Notice how we have a common factor of x plus two between the numerator and denominator. x plus two divided by x plus two is equal to one, and therefore the simplified, and therefore the simplified rational expression is six divided by the quantity x minus four. But we still need to give the domain. To determine the domain, we begin with all real numbers and exclude any values that make the denominator equal to zero. It is important that we use a denominator of the unsimplified rational expression. And therefore, to determine the domain, we look at the rational expression in this form here, where the denominator is the quantity x minus four times the quantity x plus two. We need to determine what values of x make this product equal to zero.
Well, x minus four is equal to zero when x equals four. X plus two is equal to zero when x equals negative two. So the domain is all real numbers except negative two and four. To abbreviate this, we often just say x can't equal negative two or x can't equal positive four. The reason we exclude these values is because when the denominator is zero, we have division by zero, and division by zero is undefined. I hope you found this helpful.